Stages Theatre Company is out with a new play based on a popular children's book. Neil Persley has a sneak peek in today's Weekend Showcase. Stages Theatre's latest original production, The Most Magnificent Thing, is based on the popular children's book of the same name. One of these eclectic kind of urban neighborhoods. It is inspired by the illustrations very much. Think of it as Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood meets Peanuts. The show closely follows the main character Maggie's story from the book and colors in her world by giving names and personality to all the ancillary characters. It is the story of Maggie, who is a girl who just wants to make what's in her head. And uh, it takes a little experimentation to see how to get there. I need to hire an assistant, someone who follows directions exactly. Maggie is a tinkerer and inventor, and her trusted assistant is none other than her faithful companion, Wrench. Playing a dog is really fun. Um, I have a puppet in the show, so um, it's really fun to be able to show my actions not only through my own body, but through this puppet as well. It's just, it's just a really cool experience that I've never really had the opportunity to do. The story centers around Maggie's wanting to make the most magnificent thing that starts out as an idea in her head. The challenge is getting the idea out of her head and actually built. She is a character that has a really tumultuous emotional journey in her creative process but she has this group of people around who her support her and who won't encourage her not to give up, and she doesn't. 11 and under should enjoy this show, but it's fine for all ages, and I give it a rating of, wait for it, M for Magnificent. Okay, that was a gimme. For a weekend showcase from Stages Theater, Neil Persley, CCX News. It had to be M for Magnificent. Stages Theatre Company also hosts an event called Full Steam Ahead this Saturday featuring hands-on exhibits highlighting science, technology, art, and math. The Most Magnificent Thing is on stage through May 12th. And of course, you can find out more about that production and all of our stories on our website, ccxmedia.org.